People are showing up in numbers to get help from FEMA after Hurricane Adalia. God is smiling on us. I feel like this is a blessing from God. I'm Kendall Brandt in Madison where people are lining up to register for FEMA assistance. People like Stephanie Sampson lined up today to see if they can get help for her and her family. Stephanie Sampson is not a stranger to hurricanes, but this is the most horrific storm that I've seen and the most damage and um, being that I grew up here. She stayed in Madison as Hurricane Adalia made landfall and saw damage to her home as well as her mother's home. I never seen anything like it, but I just thank God that we have people that are willing to help us. Some of those people, FEMA workers helping neighbors in Madison apply for federal help. Crews with the agency arrived in Madison Tuesday to spread the word about assistance available for survivors of the storm and how to receive it. FEMA also has these centers set up in Hamilton, Lafayette, and Dixie counties. Help FEMA is giving includes money for shelter expenses, basic home repairs, and other essential disaster-related needs for renters and homeowners. The applicants uh, sit down with the intake folks. Troy York with FEMA says getting the word out about the help is key. And that's why we, we have those people that are out walking around so we can get the folks registered that couldn't get in as quickly as is possible because you have to be registered for the assistance to come forward. Others getting that help, Willie Morgan. He is a homeless veteran living in a shed on a friend's property. He had a tree crash through his shed and wants some help getting back on his feet. I'm, I'm, I'm completely out. I'm just completely without anything. And that's true. I'm, I'm like uh, kind of nervous, kind of scared. Samson says helpers like York is what is keeping her hope alive. I'm going to count all my blessings because I'm alive and I'm just going to put one foot in front of the other and keep on going. FEMA is not the only group set up in this parking lot off of Bay Street. The Department of Florida hired